So, today we are going to take the lecture number 3 in which we are going to cover the coterie link and the basic concepts of the basic loops, ba basic cut set and the incident matrix, right. So, in the previous lecture we have studied about the tree and uh, for which uh, some topic has been left. So, this is the course content of your first unit. This much we have already covered in the lecture number 2. So, some part of the tree is been continued here. So, these are the few properties of tree. So, a tree as already mentioned in the previous lecture also what is the definition of tree and we have also seen the trees uh, how to form it. So, it always consists of all the nodes in the electrical network and it is not any it is not having any closed path in it right and the tree of a graph is not going to be unique it can be different also. So, it is possible to make many different number of trees from a same electrical network. This is the fourth property and if the graph contains n number of nodes, then the tree will have n minus 1 number of branches in it, right. So, we have already seen in the previous lecture also. So, the branches of the tree is n minus 1 and these branches of the tree are called the twigs, right. So, the number of KCL equation is n minus 1 which is equal to the number of twigs. So, these are the basic properties of tree. Now, we will go with the next concept of co-tree. So, it is a subgraph basically which is formed after disconnecting a tree from a graph right so uh, we will take the same example we have taken previously for this we will just uh, bifurcate in tree and co-tree both tree and co-tree in the last lecture we have uh, made three trees with it so we will take the same three trees this is one node, two node, three node, four node. This is the tree which is covering all the nodes, which is covering all the nodes, but it is not containing any closed loop, right. So, this is the tree branches which is having the twigs number two, four and this is five branch number. If we denote the orientation also, this is the direction which is saying the orientation. So, we will denote it by the arrow sign, right. So, this is a tree mid, right. So, from this a co-tree is made then it is basically the branches, this branches has been taken for the tree, this branches is taken in the tree, this branches is taken in the tree. So, the branches which has been left which is not considered in this tree is called the co-tree. So, what are the other branches which has been left 2, 4 and 5 are taken in the tree. So, it means ki branch number 1, 3 and 6 is left. So, these are the branches of the co-tree. So, this is the third number branch which is connecting first and the third node. This is the second branch which is the first number which is connecting first node and the fourth node and this is the this is the fourth node which is this is the fourth branch this is the third branch which is connecting the node 4 and 3 having a branch number 6. So, 1, 3 and 6 are the branches of the co-tree, right. Similarly, if we take, similarly, if we take, similarly, if we take, if we take the another branch, so, there is a way to make a tree, tree and a co-tree on the same graph which can be shown here. Suppose we are taking this tree 1, 2, 3, 4. All the nodes are connected and there is no formation of any closed loop, right. So, this is a tree which is containing branch 2, 5 and 3. Right. So, the branches left will be shown by your dotted lines or we can say this braked lines, right. So, it is showing the branch of your co-tree which has been left is not considered in the tree is shown by a dashed line which is called the co-tree, right. So, this is the branch number 4, this is the branch number 4, 
this is branch number 6, this is branch number 1st, right. So, 1st, 4th, 1st, 4th and the 6 branches are in coterie and the branches in the tree is 2, 3 and 5, right. So, this is the next coterie. So, if we see the property of it, it says that the branches of the coterie is called the chords. It means the branches which we have written here, 1st, 4th and the 6th, which is the branch of your coterie, it is called the chords, right. It is called the chords. And now, we have already seen the branch numbers. The tree branch is nothing but it is, it is equal to n minus 1, right. So, suppose for example, if you take this tree and coterie sets, there are 1, 2, 3, means 2, 3, 5 is the tree branches, it is called the twigs. So, it is basically in this figure, there are n is equal to 4 and b, number of branches is equal to 6, right. So, n minus 1 is 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3. So, we can see, see here, there are 3 number of branches in your tree and what is left will be the co-tree branches, right. So, what is left total number of branches is b. So, b what is left will be b minus n minus 1, right, n minus 1. n minus 1, n minus 1, right. So, for this figure, b is 6 minus 4 minus 1. So, it is equal to 6 minus 3 that is equal to 3. So, there are already 3 number of branches in your coterie that is called the chords. So, from here this property is also clear that the number of branches, number of branches in your coterie is b minus n minus 1 that is called the chords. And since the sum of the number of branches in the tree and the coterie is called the total number of branches. Here it is written the sum of the number of branches in a tree and the number of branches in its co-tree is equal to the total number of branches, right. It means ki n minus 1 is the branches of tree plus b minus n minus 1 is the total number of branches in the whole graph. So, it is always equal to b, right. So, this is the properties of the co-tree. Now, the next concept is the basic or the fundamental loops. It is actually a loop which is a closed path, right of a given graph which contains this one, only one, one and only one chord will be available in that loop and the remaining branches is the tree branch, right. It means ki there is a loop which is containing only one and one chord branch, one and one coterie branch that is the chord and the remaining branches in that loop will be the tree branches, right. So, the number of fundamental loops for a given graph is equal to b minus n minus 1. Number of fundamental loops in a graph, given graph will be b minus n minus 1 that is equal to the number of chords also and it is equal to the number of KVL equation that can be formed from a given graph, right. So, these fundamental loops are also called as fundamental tie sets, fundamental tie sets, right. So, fundamental is written by f and this tie set is written in short form like this. In many books you can see that it is f tie set that is the fundamental tie sets, right. Now, the next property of the fundamental loop is the direction of the f tie set that is the fundamental tie sets is same as the direction of your chord. So, here the orientations ca came into picture that is the direction of your loop, fundamental loop that is the fundamental tie set is same as the direction of your chord. Fundamental loop will consider only one and one chord and then and the remaining square will be the tree branches, right. So, the direction of the fundamental tie set is same as the direction of your chord. So, we will see with the same example of the graph, here the same graph has been taken, the orientation has been shown by the arrow which is going to be play a role here. Suppose for example, it says that fundamental loop containing only one chord, right. It means ki it is containing only one co-tree branch. Suppose we are taking this tree, it is having 1, 2, 3 and 4 nodes. This is the second branch, this is the fourth one and this is the fifth, right. So, this one uh, tree has been taken. 
Now for fundamental loops, it says that the loop will contain only one and one chords, right? It will it will have only one coterie branch. So if we draw the coterie also, it means the branches which are left in which are left means it is not in your tree is the coterie, right? So these are the shown by the dashed lines, which is the which is actually the coterie branch, right? So this is branch number three. This is branch number. This is branch number six. This is branch number one, right? So there are in this uh, uh, graph we have taken only one tree, right? So as the previous slide says, there are number of fundamental loops will be b minus n minus one, which is equal to basically six minus four minus one. That is equal to Three. It means for that given tree, for considering this tree, we will have three number of fundamental. We will have three number of fundamental loops. See, fundamental loop says that it contains only one and one chords, right? It means that if we take this loop, if we take this loop, it is containing two branch, five branch, and one branch, right? It can be seen that this one branch. Is the only branch which is the coterie branch. It means it is a one chord, and the next property also says that the direction of the fundamental loop is same as the direction of your chords, right? It means that this loop's direction will be same as the direction of your chord, right? It means that the loop, fundamental loop's direction will be in the same direction of your chord direction, right? So the fundamental tie set. Is L one that is the loop number one? This is the loop number one. It is basically the branches which is one, two, and five, right? One is the coterie branch, that is the chord, and this two and five are the twigs, right? Similarly, if we take this loop. If you take this loop, loop means closed path. It is containing two, four, and three. That is loop two. We can say this loop two is containing the branches two, three, and four, right? And the direction of this fundamental loop or F tie set is the same as the direction of your chord, right? It is the dashed line which having the direction this. So this fundamental loop's direction is also like this. So this two and the four is the twig. This two and four is the twig, and this third is the chord, right? So this is the loop number one. This is loop number through three, and according to the previous slide, it says that for this there are three number of fundamental loops. These two loops has been completed. See, there is one loop left, which is this one. This loop is containing branch four, five, and six. This is loop number. Two. This is loop number three. This is loop number three. So loop number three is containing the branches four, five, and six. Right? In this six branch, the six number branch is the chord. The six number branch is the chord, and the four and the five branches. This four number branches and the five number branches is sh shown by the solid lines. This is actually the tree branches, which is the twigs. Right, so this is how we go for the fundamental tie sets. Right, so this concept is going to be used further. That is why we are studying here. Now the next concept is the basic or fundamental cut set. The previous one was basic or fundamental loops. Now it is the cut sets. Basically, fundamental cut set is written as F cut set. That is F stands for fundamental. Right, it is a it is a cut through a graph. Basically, this Fundamental cut sets actually cuts the branches into two parts, right? It can it cuts the graph whole graph in two parts, and any F cut sets contains one and only one tree branches, right? In the previous one, it will it was containing one and only one chords, right? But here it will contain only one tree branches that is the twigs, and the remaining are the chords, right? So just opposite of the fundamental loops. It is previous one was containing the chords only one chords, and here it is containing only one tree. Now the direction 
of each cut set is same as the direction of your tree which is containing only one that will be the direction of your fundamental cut set right it is same as the direction of your tree branches now for the previous one it was containing number of fundamental loops was b minus n minus 1 now here the number of fundamental cut set is nothing but the n minus 1 which is equal to the number of twigs and which is also equal to the number of kcl equations right so we will see with the same example here the same graph has been taken i just take one tree similar tree branch denoting the branches and the nodes 1 2 3 4 these are the nodes branches will be shown by the numbers in a bracket this is branch number 4 this is branch number 5 right and I will show the code tree by the dashed lines with the orientation of the branches also 1 and this is this is branch number 6. So, your fundamental cut set says that it is the cut which is going to divide your graph in two parts right and it will contain that cut will contain one and only one tree right. So, see here I am just going to cut this branches. cut the graph in two parts with a cut set. Now, suppose if this is a cut right. So, this cut is dividing this graph in two parts this is the one part and this other is left is the another part right. So, this cut is passing through branch number 3, branch number 2 and branch number 1 right. This cut is passing through branch number 3, 2 and 1 now branch 3 to 1 out of which the branch number 2 is the only branch which is a tree branch right this is shown by the solid line other two branches are code tree right other two branches are code tree branches it means ki second one is the twig that is the branch of the tree and the one and the three is nothing but the cords right so this is the one cut set that is shown by c1 that is the this is the cut set number 1. Now, second is it could be like this also. Now, the direction direction says that it is the it is having the same direction as the number of as the tree branches right. So, for this the direction is outward see this is the direction of your tree. So, the direction of your cut set is outward it can be shown by this arrow direction of your cut set is outward right it will follow the direction of your twigs right. Now, if we take the branch number if we take the branch number 4, 5 and 6 I will just erase it because there is lot of confusion creating here. right. So, if we take the cut set that is this one this is C2 cut set this is the cut set number C2 it is passing through the branch number this is first branch this is passing through the branch number 1, 5 and 6 this is C2 which is passing through 1, 5 and 6 this one right. So, it is passing through 1, 5 and 6 1 is the Cotri branch that is the cord, 6 is also the Cotri branch that is the 6 and the 5 number branch is the Cotri branch that is the twig. So, it is containing this cut set is containing only one tree and the other two are the cords right. So, it is basically 5 number is the twig and 1 and 6 are the cords right. So, this is the cut set number 2. Now, the third cut set is also available if we if we see this one node number 2, 3 and 4 is taken and if this is the cut set now the direction of this will be downward right it follows the direction of your twig. 
So, twig, this 5 number branch is having direction in the downward direction. So, the direction of this cut set C2 is downward. Now, this cut set number 3 that is C3, if we take it is passing through which branches? 3, 4 and 6, 3, 4 and 6. Now, you can easily see that the 4 is the tree branch that is the twig 1, this is twig, this is twig and 3 and 6, 3 and 6 is the dotted one, it is the branch of the core tree that is the chords, right. So, the total number of cut set, fundamental cut set is nothing but n minus 1, n minus, n minus 1 that is equal to 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3. So, for this one core tree, there are 3 number of fundamental cut set, right. Now, the next topic is the incident matrix, incidence matrix. Now, when a graph is given, right, so from the graph we can say, we can tell which branch is going to incident on which node, right, and what are the orientation relative to the nodes other branches having or conversely we can say that a graph would be defined if it is inform, if, if this information that is key, uh, that is which branch are incident at which node with what orientation is given, right. So, if we have some information that a branch is going to orient or going to uh, give the direction that is how they are going to incident on a node and the relatively other branches are how they are oriented, right. So, we can say that ki if it is a convenient way to say this information is by a incidence matrix that is the incidence matrix, right. So, if we have a information of incidence matrix, so from the incidence matrix we can draw the graph and from the graph we can make the incidence matrix. Incidence matrix is nothing but a matrix having a row and the columns. It is like we can say that key uh, number of row will be the nodes and the number of columns will be the branches, right. So, we can see in the next uh, slide also we will just see some concept how to form an incidence matrix. Now, the step for the construction of incidence matrix is if suppose this is a node and this is a branch, if the orientation, if the orientation that is the arrow sign is going away, away from this node, then it is taken as plus 1 and if it is moving inward, if it is moving inward towards the node, then it is minus 1. And if there is no branches which is going to incident on any node, then it will be denoted by 0. And the nodes and the nodes will represent the matrix row, matrix row and the branches will represent the matrix column, right. So, by using this concept, we are just going to make the uh, incidence matrix. For example, if this is a graph, then first of all, number of nodes is 4 branches is 6. So, in the previous uh, slide we have seen that the row is the node and the branches is the column, right. So, here we will write the nodes in the rows and here the branches will be written, right. So, node number 4 are there. So, 1, 2, 3 and 4, right and the branches are 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 branches. So, we can say that this matrix is nothing but 4 cross 6 matrix, 4 is the number of node and 6 is the number of branches, right. Now, the entries of this matrix is nothing but the orientation of your branches from the nodes. Suppose, we have taken the node number 1, node number 1 is containing branch number 3, 2, 3, 2 and 1, right, 3, 2 and 1. So, branch number 4, 5, 6 is not connected with branch number, uh, sorry, with the node number 1. So, these entries will be 0. So, 4, 5, 6 will be 0 for the node number 1. Now, 2, 3 and 1 is having 1, but the um, sign of the 1 is either positive or negative. That will depend on the whether this branch is going to inward or outward to the node, right. Suppose here, if we take the branch number 2, it is moving outward towards, outwards from the node. So, it means ki it is going to be positive, right. See, here we have seen, here we have seen a branches which is moving away from the node, it is plus 1 and if it is going towards the node, it is 
minus 1, right. So, we will just follow the same concept, it is going away. So, it is 1 for the sorry, this is branch number 1. So, we will just for branch number 1, it is moving towards the node, right. It is moving towards the node. So, it is minus 1. For the branch number 2, it is going outwards from the node number 1. So, it is 1. For the branch number 3 also, it is going outward, outward from the node that is also 1. Now, for the node number 2, branches is 2, 4 and 5. It means ki 1 is 0, 3 is also 0 and 6 is also 0. Now, from the node 2, the branch number 2 is going inward. Inward means it is minus 1, 4 is also inward, it is minus 1 and the 5 is bra branch number is 5 which is going outward from the node number 2 that is 1. Similarly, for the third node 3, 4 and 6, 3, 4, 6 means 1, 1 entry is 2, 0, 2 is also 0 and 5 is also 0, 3, 4 and 6, 3 is going inward to the node that is negative, 4 is going outward that will be positive that is plus 1 and the 6 is also moving outward that is also positive. Similarly, for the fourth number node, we can see 1, 5 and 6, so 2, 3 and 4 will be, will be 0. 1 is moving outward, it means it is positive, 5 and 6 are inward that is going to be negative. So, this is the whole concept of making an incidence matrix. In the next class, we will just see the left topics which are nothing but cut set matrix, tie set, duality and the loop and the nodal methods for the analysis. Thank you for this lecture.